So today we're going to show you how to remove the interior headliner for the T6.1. Now Jack was moving quick today as he already had the A pillars off before I got there. But there is another video for that on the channel. Starting off with the center console, there is a light trim that will pop off with the trim tool exposing two T20 torque screws. Once the screws have been removed, the light will come down after a pry with the trim tool, removing the blue plug and the black plug for the microphone. This will then allow you to remove the light completely. The other two trims for the airbag light and the SOS feature will come out by using the trim tool too. Now whenever a part of the airbag system is removed, as long as the ignition is off, you'll be fine. With all the trims out of the way, it exposes four more T20 screws that once removed will allow the main part of the center console to come out. By prying from the back of the van to the front, there is less chance of breaking clips. Once the console is unclipped, there is one more plug to pull out and you can move it out of the way. Now that's done, we can move on to the sun visors. It's best to get a small flathead screwdriver or a pick to remove the trims hiding the screws. Once the trim is popped off, there are two more T20 screws that need removing and this piece will just pull off. It's then the same for the other side, but this time the sun visor will tilt down to remove as there is a tab at the top of where the screws are. And then Jack will do the same for the other side. Now onto the B pillars. That just needs the top part of it loosening. So Jack has popped the cap up, exposing the M10 multi-spline bolt that will need removing. And then the B pillar will unclip and rest on the seats. Once that's done on both sides, we can move on to the rear strip. Now most fans will have the OEM strip, which will have clips that will pull down to remove it. 
Next we'll remove any grab handles. This is really easy to do. The tab that hides the screws will just come down, revealing more T20 screws. Now the last trim to take off is the top of the rear view mirror, which the sides of the trim come outwards to unclip. Then we'll just remove the electrical connectors. Lastly, there are just two more T20 screws in the headliner and it will drop down and you can pull it out the door. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful please like the video if you're stuck on something comment down below and we can help you out